In the previous video, we have generated the tiles, the wall tiles for the cardinal directions of our floor positions. Now, in this video, we want to finish by implementing the corner wall tiles as well as fixing some of the previously placed wall tiles so that we can have a good looking walls surrounding our dungeon. So, first of all, we are going to need to go back to our tile map visualizer and implement some more of the wall type tiles. So, let's open our tile map visualizer. Great. Now we will need to add some corner wall types. So let's add after wall type full, we are going to type wall, inner, corner, down, left. And let's copy the first part, wall, inner, corner, control C, and we are going to paste it, uh, and it will be wall, inner, corner, down, right? Next, let's paste our name. And this will be not inner, but now wall diagonal. And let's maybe paste it onto the new line so we know what is going on. So first of all, it will be wall diagonal corner down, right? Let's copy the first part, so the wall diagonal corner. And we are going to add the next one. It will be the down, uh, the corner down left next one will be wall diagonal corner up right and next one will be wall diagonal corner up left and this should be it so let's save it and we are going to use those remaining wall tabs in our newly created method that was called paint single corner walls that has no code in it so here we again has the, have the position and let's change the string neighbors binary type to binary type. Again, we will need to calculate the int value. So int type as int and it should be int type. And we are going to call again our convert dot to int 32. And we are going to pass our binary type and 2 as this is of base 2 value uh, in the string format. Next, we are going to create our tile base. Tile equals null. And before we forget, let's create if our tile is not null, we are going to call paint single a wall, a single tile. And we are going to type here our tile map will be wall tile map. The tile base will be the tile that we have created here. And the position will be a position that we have received. Okay. And in between those, the tile base definition and the painting of the tile, we are going to create some if statements. So again, we are going to type if our wall types helper dot wall inner corner down left it should be pre-created for you dot contains our type as int we are going to set our tile equals our wall inner corner down left let's copy this statement and we are going to simply add else let's paste what we have copied and let's change the wall inner corner down left to right and the tile should be again wall inner corner down right. Copy this else if statement and we are going to paste it below. Now we will want to check the diagonal corners. So wall diagonal and we should have different options if we click control space uh, when we delete some of the name. So wall diagonal corner left. Let's start with this one. And for the tile we are going to again call wall control space and we should have wall diagonal corner down left let's copy this else if statement paste it below let's change it uh, from left to right and the wall let's change to wall diagonal corner down right paste another else if statement now we are going to check for the wall diagonal corner up right and let's change it for the wall setting setting to up right paste another else if statement 
and let's change it to up left and for the tile again up left so this will be the wall diagonal corner up left up right down right down left the inner corner down right and the inner corner down left and make sure that the tile that we assign matches the name of the hash set that we are checking against in addition to checking the corners we are going to add another else if statement and we will change the hash set that we are searching through to wall full eight directions and this will be the case when our wall full should be placed but we will need to check for it in the eight directions so let's change the tile from uh, to wall full the type of the tile and we will need another else if statement so else if our wall uh, types helper dot and we will check for the wall bottom eight directions again we will have some issues with the bottom wall and we are going to change the wall type to the wall bottom for it and now we should be good to go now before we go back to unity and check if this works make sure that you understand that we do not have else cause so if we have not defined uh, the correct list of types uh, in the binary format in our wall types helper so here there might be holes in our map and for most of those holes that i have uh, i have patched but most of them are uh, in those four directions since i focus much more on the eight directions since there were a lot of types possible so i might have missed a couple of those four directions so if you see a wall uh, an empty space where there should be a wall Make sure that you calculate the binary value in the uh, four directions and check against if this is the correct uh, value or if this value exists in those four directions. And if not, then let me know down in the comments and we will try to fix it. Okay, so make sure that you save the script. Let's go back to Unity. Okay. Select the tile map visualizer and make sure that we assign the wall types. So wall inner corner down left, we are going to select wall inner corner bottom left. The down right will be the bottom right. The diagonal corner down right should be down right. The diagonal down left should be also called down left. The uh, diagonal corner up right, again, it should be called up right. And up left, again, should be diagonal corner up left. So make sure that those fit and if they do let's control s to save it let's select our simple random walk dungeon generator and let's generate our dungeon and if everything went correctly we should see that our dungeons are surrounded correctly with walls now what we can do is select our room first dungeon generator and let's generate it as well and we should see that most of the or all of the wall types are correctly placed and that our dungeon has this vibe of the axiometric projection so exactly what the author of the tile set uh, wanted for us to have okay and this concludes our tutorial uh, we can of course play around with the camera to show us a bit more of our dungeon so we can uh, increase the size of it and for the room first generation, it will always create the dungeon in the same space so that we can see it a bit better. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you are watching it in December 2020 or in any other December and celebrate Christmas, then Merry Christmas. Take care.